Number 72, calculate the enthalpy of combustion of propane, which is C3H8 gas, for the formation of H2O gas and CO2 gas. The enthalpy of formation of propane is negative 104 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so we need to find the enthalpy of combustion of propane. So we've We've done a lot of balancing equations and knowing how to form equations. That was all in chapter four. So if you want to check out that playlist, if you need like a refresher, I got you covered there. So this will kind of be like a little review as far as making the equation. So in this case, right, remember that we have our hydrocarbon. In this case, they said uh, propane, which is C3H8, and that's a gas. And when we are doing a combustion equation, it's always plus O2, and O2 in combustion is always a gas. That's the standard state for O2. And in this case, we're always going to be forming CO2 gas and H2O gas, not liquid. Be careful, okay? Like when you see fire burning, right? This is basically what combustion is. When you see fire burning, you don't see like water literally spurting out all over the place, right? The H2O that is being made is a vapor. It's not a liquid. So this would be CO2, CO2, and that's a gas, plus H2O, and that's also in the gas form. Okay, now before we even work with the numbers, we just have to make sure that this is balanced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly balance it. You can pause the video to see if your balanced equation comes up as my balanced equation, but let's just see. I see that I have three carbons, so I'm gonna put a three in front of here. I have eight hydrogens, so I'm gonna put a four in front of here, because four times two is eight. And then let's see, I have a total of six carbons here. I have a total of, sorry, not six carbons. I have a total of six oxygens here. I have a total of four oxygens here. That's a total of 10. So I need to put a five in front of here. Thank goodness there are no fractions. And now we have a balanced equation. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna list out all of the delta H values, right? And this little notch means that it's standard. It's coming from the standard tables. And the F just means that it's a formation reaction, right? The, uh, basically the amount of energy that needs to be formed for all four of these. Now what I did was I went into the tables in the back of a, of a textbook to find out the delta H formation of the O2 gas, the H2O gas, and the CO2 gas, right? So maybe I'll just strip this away. And basically we have this, right? And I'm just gonna link our numbers down below. So for example, the oxygen was zero. They told us that the enthalpy of formation of propane was negative 104. So I'm gonna put negative 104 there. On my product side, the CO2 was a negative 393.51. And then the H2O gas was the negative 241.82. Okay. So now, how do we find out the enthalpy of the whole equation in which this is, you know, a combustion equation? This is a pretty easy formula. It's this one. So basically, in order to find a delta H for a whole reaction, Rxn just means reaction, we have to take the sum right? It's this little symbol just means sum. The sum of all of the delta H's of the products minus the sum of all the delta H's of the reactants. Basically, I need one number for my reactant side and I need one number for my product side. Well, how do I get that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all the delta H values that we found out and we're going to multiply it by how many we have in our balanced equation. So for example, for C3H8, I didn't see a number here, right? That means that there was only one C3H8. So I'm just gonna multiply negative 104 by one. There was five O2s, so I'm gonna multiply zero times five. There was three CO2s, so I'm gonna multiply that by three. And there was four H2Os. I'm gonna multiply the negative 241.82 times four. Now, it's literally C3H8 plus O2, literally there's a plus sign here. So I have to take these numbers and add them together. Same thing for the product side, CO2 plus H2O. So I'm just going to add these two values together. 
So on the reactant side, it's just going to be negative 104. But on the product side, I got to do a little bit of math. Let's see. So I have to do 3 times negative 393.51. And then I'm going to add that to 4 times negative 241.82. I got a big number. Don't be scared. Negative 2147.81. Now I'm ready to use my formula. The enthalpy change, or the delta H for the reaction, is just products minus reactants. Negative 2,147.81 minus the reactants, which is a negative 104. And remember, if you're minusing by a negative, it's keep change change, right? So you're literally adding by a positive. And then let's just do this. So I just take that and add by 104. So I get negative 2,043.81. And just know that the standard units for delta H is kilojoule per mole. They kind of gave you a hint over here as well. So Kj per mole. And that's it. So in order for this to happen, the combustion of propane, you're going to release, because it's negative, 2,043.81 kilojoules of heat into the surroundings. That's hot. <laughs> that's a lot of heat. But that's why it burns, right? Combustion is generally going to be exothermic, releasing heat. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments if this helped you, all right? Love to hear from you guys. Love talking to you. Thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. I'll see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.